Hey there! Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the wonderful world of QR codes. Today, we have something really exciting to share with you, QR codes in Excel. That's right, we'll show you how to generate QR codes and use them to enhance your Excel spreadsheets. You can do it in two ways. The first is by creating a QR code that links to an Excel file, via QCG, the second is by generating QR codes using data in your Excel file. So, let's get started on how to create an Excel QR code. Let's first see how to create a QR code that links to an Excel sheet. Before proceeding to generate an Excel QR code, you need to first create an Excel file. There are two ways to create an Excel file. The first is by creating an MS Excel file. And then, uploading it to a cloud storage service such as Dropbox or Google Drive. Once you do it, copy the shareable link to the file, depending on whom you want to grant the access to. However, this is a long process. And to make things easier, you can use the second approach. The second way is to create a Google spreadsheet. You can add and format all the details to create the file online. And once you're done, you can go ahead to copy the shareable link to the file. Now that you have the link, you can proceed to the next step. We will be using Scanova's QR Code Generator tool, QCG, to create the Excel QR code. You just need to follow these steps. Go to Scanova and sign up for a 14-day free trial. From QR Code Categories, select the website URL QR Code. On the page that loads, paste the link to your Excel file. You now, click on Create QR Code. A window will pop up asking you to name and save the QR code. Enter a suitable name and click Save. Next, you will see three QR code designs on your screen. These are standard black and white, custom with a logo, and custom with a background. You can proceed with either of them. Note that if your use case is marketing or promotional and you want to attract as many scans as possible, you must consider adding a design to your QR code. It is a fact that customized QR codes act as point of engagement and attract many more scans than black and white ones. Once your QR code is ready, say after you design it, you can go ahead to update and download it. Eh? Again, a window will pop up asking you to specify the QR code image size and format. Note that if you want to put up the QR code on print media creatives, you must export it in vector formats such as SVG and EPS. This is because vectors formats don't pixelate no matter how much you zoom in or zoom out. This ensures the smooth scannability of the QR code. Once you specify the details, click export your QR code image will be exported. Now let's see how to create QR codes with data present in an Excel sheet. In this case, you'll have to generate QR codes in bulk. You'd have a spreadsheet, XLS, XLSX, or CSV, with data in each row for each QR code. You'd need an online tool where you can upload Excel and generate QR codes. If this is what you need you need a bulk QR code generator tool such as QR Batch. Here is how you can get started. First, format your spreadsheet to do it, follow these steps, the first column should be the QR code file name. The QR code images that will be generated in a zip folder will have these file names. The second column should be the content you want to encode. This will depend on the QR code category you will select to encode content in Excel, you can choose from the following three categories, first category is website URL QR code a website URL QR code, when scanned, takes the end users to visit the encoded website address. Here, the first column should be the file name, QR code 1, QR code 2, etc. While the second column should be the website URL that will be encoded into the QR code. For the demo purpose of this video, we have selected a website URL QR code. Second category is plain text QR code plain text QR code store textual information such as an address, product information, or a short bio. To create a plain text QR code using Excel, the second column should contain the text. While the first column, as usual, should be the file name. Third category is vCard QR code a vCard QR code, when scanned, displays contact information. These include details such as name, title designation, company, email, phone, and website. It also prompts the user to add as contact. For a vCard QR code, you can add contact details second column onwards. That is, the name is column B, title in column C, the company in column D, and so on. Once you have created the spreadsheet, go to the QR Batch homepage. Click on sign up from the top navigation bar. 
Note that signing up for an account is free and necessary to start generating QR codes. Once logged in, you'll see two QR batch type options to choose from generate QR code images or generate QR code labels. If you select the generate QR code images option, you will download your QR codes as images. On the other hand, if you select the generate QR code labels option, you will get QR codes as labels for A4 sheets. 20 now, choose the QR code category URL, vCard, or text as per requirements. As mentioned earlier, we have selected website URL QR code for demo purposes. Next, upload spreadsheet Upload the spreadsheet you created in step 1 on the page that opens. You can upload it in CSV, XLS, or XLSX format. Now, review data here you will have to match the data in the columns with the data from the spreadsheet. For example, say you want to create simple text QR codes. The review page on which you land will prompt you to confirm the columns. That means you need to select which column is QR code file name and which column has text. Moving on, add design once you review the data, you will be landed on a page where you will see three design options. Standard design, it gives generic black and white QR codes custom logo design. It allows you to add a logo and color to your QR codes custom background design. It helps you add an image as QR codes background if you want a basic black and white QR code. Go for the standard QR code. But if your use case is promotional or customer facing, choose one of the other two design options. Also, custom QR codes attract 50 to 100% more scans than plain black and white ones. Next, specify batch name and other details after you finalize the design of your QR code. A window will pop up prompting you to specify the batch name. In the same window, you will also get an option to choose how you wish to export the QR codes. Note that if in the beginning, you had selected generate QR code images as batch, then you'll have to select the size and format of QR code images to be generated. On the other hand, if you had selected the generate QR code labels option, you'll see the option to name the batch and choose the label sheet layout. To help you understand it better, here's what it means. After you're done, go ahead to make payment. The major advantage of using QR batch is that it charges you only for the QR codes you create. That is, there is no subscription required. Also note that the higher the number of QR codes you generate, the cheaper will be the price per QR code. After you've made the payment, download the batch once you make the payment, your batch will start generating. The time taken depends upon the size of the batch. Typically, it can range from a few minutes to a couple of hours. Once done, you'll receive an email with a zip file containing all the QR codes. Alternatively, you can also download the batch from the My Batches section of your account. You can then download your batch. Hence, your bulk of QR codes using an MS Excel file will be downloaded. And that's all there is to it. Generating QR codes in Excel is a fantastic way to make your spreadsheets more interactive and user-friendly. Whether it's for tracking inventory, creating interactive menus, or sharing information, QR codes can be a game-changer. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting QR code tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy QR coding!